The cheerleaders are ready. And so is the team. But if it seems like something's missing, you're right. I'm very angry. I'm, I'm beyond angry. I, I can't even describe, I don't even think there's a dictionary term for the way I feel right now. Max Starks, who runs the Premier Youth Athletics Football League, is fired up and not about the competition. Somebody stole the trailer that had much of the kids' equipment, including helmets and pads. These teams are free teams. Um, we mustered up you know, money over the years to purchase this equipment for the kids and to have somebody steal it is very disheartening. It's very disheartening. After Saturday's practice, Starks drove the trailer home and parked it outside his Southfield apartment. The next morning he woke up and it was gone, equipment and all. You would think that the team would want new equipment or just something to replace what they had. But that's not what they're asking for. All they're asking for is that whoever took their stuff bring it back. We have these things. They've been taken from us. So we would like these things to be returned to us. You know, we're not asking the community to say, hey, you know, can you guys give us some uniform? We have uniforms. We have equipment. And it's very nice equipment. And we just want people to help us get the equipment returned to the youth organization. The trailer looks like this one. It's 10 by 12 and is painted silver. Starks has contacted police but says he doesn't want an arrest. He just wants the equipment returned before kickoff this weekend. From Detroit, Smitha Kaloki, Channel 7 Action News.